What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bart and I'm back to you with another video here on my YouTube channel and today we're going to go through my gold trade that I took today all live on stream with the members. So, how did we make money today? How did we trade today? How did we do our job correctly today? Basically what happened was, we had gold here on the 30 minute time frame. Uh, we had ranges, right? We had our range, one range, two range. Right, so we got a range breakout, meaning we close above the range. And what happens when you close above the range? You usually fill the range up. So that's what we were expect expecting. But not only that, let me go through the trade. Boom. What happens? Big, 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 big. Let me go to the one hour. Big, 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 big candle. Big, strong, juicy, bullish, green candle close above range. Right, what does that mean? It means that we're heavily bullish currently. Now, where are we bullish to? I don't fucking know. I don't know if we're coming up to here. I don't know if we're coming up to here. But I do know one thing. Which is what? One of the strongest concepts you will ever learn about in trading. Wick fill. We will fill the wick. Right? So that's what we played for. Auto. Now. Hold on. Let me itch my elbow. So basically, we knew that this wick was going to get filled. And what, how, did we play, how did we play with that knowledge? Well, we knew that if we create a candle... That opens up with no top wick, but with a big bottom wick, it will have a slingshot effect. Meaning it will create that bottom wick. Beep, slingshot effect. Once it flips, it will fill the wick up. So that's what we waited for, right? Now, this trading view replay button is kind of ass because it doesn't show each tick. But what happened was we created a candle that looked like this. Right? We created a candle that had no top wick, but only created a bottom wick. Which means what? Which means that we, knowing that... It will have a slingshot effect and fill the wick up. We had a buy stop right at the break of this high. Right here. Buy stop at the break of the high. Buy stop at the flip. Expecting us to fill the wick up. Uh, so that's what we had. And uh, our buy stop got activated. Now let's go down to the 5 minute. Because even though this play was based on the one, 1 hour and the 4 hour. Because both the 1 hour and the 4 hour created that, that uh, bottom wick with no top wick. Let's go to the 5 minutes so we can see more clearly what happened. So on the 5 minute here. Let me first. Come on, come on, come on, hold on, hold on, chat. Ah, okay, there we go. Stop loss was at the break of the previous low. Um, hold on, let me move one more right there. Okay, stop loss was right there. Was the previous low? Uh, hold on, chat. Let me see what stop loss was. So, uh, 13 point. Where was stop loss? Right around there. Okay. So, now what happened here, my beautiful people? Basically, what happened was we waited for the one hour to open. Flip. That's the one hour flip, right? The one hour flip right there. There we go. That's the one hour flip. All right. So what happened here is very crucial. This is a very a testament to strong psychology. So what happened here is we saw fucking 30 pips in profit. We saw 30 pips profit. And most people would be like, oh my God, 30 pips profit. We gotta get a close. We gotta get a close. Right? Most people would be like, shit, I got to close. 30 pips profit, bro. I can... I can afford rent. But me, being the experienced trader I am, I was like, no. I understand that we're going to come down and retest and then move even higher up. Why? Because now we're just following the five-minute trend and we have a five-minute compensation, right? You guys that know the compensation know how powerful the compensation plays. So we had a five-minute comp here and I was expecting us to come down, tap that comp first, and then we could hit TP. Um, so what happened was we came down, didn't move stop loss or break even, didn't even close partials, didn't do anything. Just waited for price to get into drawdown, even though it was in profit. Stay stoic. There's the tap of the comp, right? Tap of the comp. And now, boom. Easy. Easy money. Uh, we came up. We closed majority of the position at 50 pips, at around 50 pips. And then we closed the rest at around 20 pips. Uh, but that was the trade chat. Beautiful play. Nothing really crazy. Um, and that's the wick fill in one hour as well, if you can see. Look at that. Beautiful wick fill. Wicks always get filled. Wicks always get filled. Uh, but yeah, boys, thank you all for watching. That was today's recap. Hopefully, you guys understood one thing or two. Um, it's also the four-hour wick fill, by the way. Uh, but yeah, simple trade. 
We do this shit every day. Tune in on stream. QTC on top. Novik strategy on top. Peace out.